Why do I have to look at Lizzo in a thong and have somebody tell me that it's beautiful? Conservative pundit Candace Owens has taken aim at Lizzo, stating that the good as hell singer is acting in a way that she refers to as problematic. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. I don't like the games that people play where they do something that's so obviously outrageous. According to Psychology Today, the phrase gaslighting, which is sometimes abused, refers to the systematic and intentional feeding of false information to the victim in an attempt to get them to doubt their own reality and, ultimately, their perception and sanity. Lizzo in a thong, shaking her ass cheeks. Additionally, when Owens made the charges against the troubled singer on the Joe Budden podcast on SETI, March 16th, she did not use the term appropriately. I'm just like, this is A, disgusting, B, perverted. And people take their kids to the games. Is there no space that's safe? And then she's like, if you don't like it, that's your problem. It's like, no, you are being problematic. And now you're playing the game where you do something outrageous. And then, when we outrage, you pretend that we're the crazy ones. I'm not dealing you stop gaslighting me, okay? Owen seems to be alluding to the incident in 2019 when Lizzo gained notoriety for showing up to a Los Angeles Lakers game wearing an ensemble that showed off her thong and fishnet stockings. Lizzo was seen twerking and flashing her thong to the camera on the Jumbotron during the Laker cheerleaders' performance set to her popular song Juice. Comments on her bold costume choice flooded social media, ranging from enthusiastic endorsement to outright fat shaming. Over the past few years, Joe Budden has been able to bring his career back to life. All in all, his Joe Budden podcast is to thank for this. He made the decision to enter the media industry full-time after giving up rapping. This paid off even though at the time it was thought to be a very risky move. He was successful in securing several enormous contracts at Complex and Revolt. In addition, he had a significant Spotify contract. The podcast is still going strong now, and he has undoubtedly been doing longer, more in-depth interviews. Button recently teamed up with Candace Owens, a contentious conservative broadcaster. Ultimately, Button reached out to Owens with an invitation after she repeatedly requested to appear on his podcast. Some supporters expressed their disappointment in response. Owens is, after all, a person with some really disparaging views. But Button stuck with it, and he's about to publish a candid interview with the provocateur. Button and Owens spar about hip-hop culture and a few of the big-hitting artists in this interview. Why do I have to look at Lizzo in a thong and have somebody tell me that it's beautiful? Owens, for example, criticizes celebrities like Ice Spice and even Sexy Red. She even targets the LGBTQ community, in addition. See a man, is wearing a dress. That's gay. This stuff is just gay. Finally, Button queries Owens about her pride in being black. Is she proud to be black or is she not proud to be black? Fans will have to watch the interview to find out the answer to that question. Notwithstanding the circumstances, Joe has a lot on the line in this divisive discussion. In a recent episode of her own podcast, Candace Owens took aim at Ice Spice. In doing so, she criticized the rapper's newest single, Thank You The Ice Spice dropped off the viral track, last week, featuring the now infamous bar, Thank You The Shit, Bitch! You're not even the fart. And if you're wondering whether or not it's a good song, what do you think? It's called Thinky the Shit Fart. Owen said before playing a clip from the song. Now, I think we can all admit that we've fallen as a society. I wouldn't say that was Mozart or Beethoven, but I'm not all of these mainstream media publications that routinely run to defend this kind of music similar to what they did with WAP, the most disgusting and filthiest lyrics I've ever read. They will then sit down and write an article trying to convince you that what you just heard was magical and they did this with this Ice Spice song. I just want to live in a society where we can all acknowledge that a song that's entitled Thank You The Shit Fart is in fact itself a shit fart. With her new song Thank You The Shit Fart, Ice Spice seems to be taking another stab at Lado. One of the most well-known new musicians at the moment is Ice Spice. Despite her sudden rise to fame due to the song Munch, she has managed to stay current. All in all, she exudes personality, and her music appeals to a wide audience. She has also had some extremely successful duets with musicians like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift. She has, however, in the past had conflicts with a few well-known musicians. She appears to have a running argument with Lado about this. This beef's origins are a little mysterious. Nevertheless, they have insulted one another and have not stopped showing how much they despise one another. Ice Spice made an appearance on Friday and released a brand new song titled Thank You The Shit. Thank you the shit, bitch. You not even the fuck. After being teased for a while, this song is now officially released. I got my foot on they next, I can't let up. Spice raps on the song. She all on the floor, so I get up. Get Immediately, fans saw this as a reference to Lado's track Put It On The Floor. You can imagine how fans felt on social media when Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj started beefing at the same time. After being made fun of on his, Nicki Minaj retaliated on Megan Thee Stallion with a few bars of her own. These 
these hoes made at Megan's Law. Meg dropped her new single on Friday, January 26th, after teasing the acerbic tune earlier this week. It seems to take some jabs at Nicki. Uh, I don't know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all want me to The Houston native raps. Megan's Law alludes to a federal statute that requires authorities to release information on registered sex offenders to the public, seemingly intended at Nicki Petty's husband. After Petty and Nicki moved to California in 2019 but failed to register as a sex offender there, they were sentenced to three years of probation and one year of house detention in 2022. His 1995 conviction for the first-degree attempted rape of a 16-year-old girl led to a four-year jail sentence, which is the reason he is classified as a sex offender. Nicki Minaj responded on Instagram Live shortly after Megan Thee Stallion released his, playing a clip of a new song that contains some explicit language directed at Tina Snow. <laughs> She raps in reference to the July 2020 shooting that left Megan with foot injuries and resulted in Tori Lanez's imprisonment. Nikki was giggling as she played the clip, which she repeated several times. Wait, I, I play it again, Jermaine. She also said during the broadcast, you have three Grammys and you have to learn how to rap on the beat and be comfortable in the music before doing an impression of Megan rapping in a thick southern drawl. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.